Who is this weird eyed male protagonist and what what is wrong with his eyes? Who is this girl and what is wrong with her eyes? Why do I have a red re six shooter revolver aimed at my face? What is this Dangan Rampa thing? Why is it called Trigger Happy Havoc? But more importantly, Pika, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> to simply explain this, and to the viewers watching at home, they never saw it coming. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Cause we're playing Dang and Ropa. What? Good job. Welcome back to a new series that Silver is primarily gonna play. Cause I'm gonna be guest whatever it comes to like some of these episodes but i played this game before silver hasn't played this game before and he's going in blind and uh i'm here for the uh violence and, I, well, and yeah i know very very little about the series basically what i know is it's like the ace attorney series just <laughs> a lot darker <laughs> just based on this yep. title alone and not only that, but it has a huge, huge fan following, like the Shin Megami Tensei and the Persona series. Like, if you like Persona and those games, you're gonna, like, most people would say they like this game. And okay. I'm happy that you're playing it. So. Well, I'm, well, just, gonna be, I'm just gonna be happy to get this fucking six-shooter revolver thing away from my face. <laughs> Wait, you wanna play Russian Roulette? <laughs> not with the fucked up eye, Wonder Twins! <laughs> Come on, Silver, you smash. You smash both, probably. Who knows? Well, I'd smash the guy, I mean, the girl. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're getting a little bit too non-PG, so we'll see. I'm now, uh, <laughs> how much do you want to bet this girl's going to die by the end? <laughs> and how much do you want to bet this you know boy what? is also going to die by the end? And I'm going to be stuck with, with the... Uh, the the comic relief character that looks like a fucking mountain troll. <laughs> so I guess once we meet our cast of characters, we'll figure out who's who. But new game. Yeah, further ado, we're doing it in English, maybe. Obviously, we're doing it in English. Uh, logic All right, difficulty. So let me kind of explain this because uh -oh. uh, I know what this logic is. Logic difficulty and action difficulty. What's this? Yes, this game is a very interactive, uh, how could I say, like a visual novel where they actually have like, you know, whenever you're going to do the actual, like, you know, big time events in a the game, there's going to be action to it. So it kind of, you know, needs some skill and, you know, some, uh, I don't know, ingenuity to actually do it. So I would say leave it kind for now, but Silver, if you actually go to Gen I'm not going to blame you because I actually wanted you to play this game for the story and not for like, you know, how difficult it is, but that's up to you if you want to put it gentle now. And if you put it mean, then, you know, you're going to die. <laughs> oh, I mean, you're going to die. I mean, like, legit, you're going to be like, yo, FUCK THIS GAME! <laughs> so, how would they put it kind? Fine. Are you actually gonna go mean? Like, mean's <laughs> for expert playing. You know that, right? Like, people uh, I'm sure it is! <laughs> we're gonna go one- We're gonna go one episode in. I'm gonna die before- Before the first, uh, chapter even begins. Mm -hmm. Because I- Because I'm choosing mm -hmm. mean. Oh, wouldn't that be a serious- uh... like, Good night, everybody! <laughs> Alright, so this is what I'm gonna say. Put it kind now. Finish, you know, because this game has five chapters, that I can tell you. If you feel like, you know, the shit's too kind in the first chapter, once you go to the second chapter, put it on me. And if you lose, you lose. <laughs> Simple. Ooh, bear. Uh, okay, that's... I, I thought the bear was supposed to be cuddly? Why is this guy tied to a chair? Wait. Start. Are you a plus or stop? Are you watching stop right now? Uh. Glass. Oh. Wait, we got to go to space. Space. 
We're going on the ship, on a ship, rocket ship. Space, 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 one of those space, 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 space. Space! This music's so morbid. I'm not gonna lie, this song is kind of catchy as hell. And here are our viewers. Too soon, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the reference now. Wow. <laughs> it's I, I, I'm I, just bared out. I get the feeling me and this bear are gonna become the best of friends. And by mm -hmm. that, I mean by the end of this, either he's gonna either that and by that I mean he's either gonna kill me or I'm gonna put one of those uh, six shooter revolver shots right between his eyes oh yeah the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area actually Pika you read <laughs> you I'm want yawning. me to read? What I'm yawning <laughs> <laughs> it's like the school stands at the center of the entire world Hope's Peak Academy. My hope peaked long before this game began. It brings top students from every field imaginable. A, gov a government funded school of privilege. White privilege, that is. Of course. We, they say we, we, don't, we don't want no. Uh, you can finish it. <laughs> um. Or anyway, I like sugar and I like tea, but I don't like blank, don't like no neighbors. siree. Neighbors, neighbors, I, I hate neighbors, shit. Anyways. Hello, neighbor. Shit. They that, say that. you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. <laughs> That's gonna be uh, a game we play in the future, Hello, Neighbor. Oh yeah, absolutely. With hundreds of Traditions, it sends the creeping of the crop into work force every year. It was built to raise hope in its nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you should have already be attending a high school, and two, you should be the very best at what you do. Wait, like Chris no Jericho. one ever was. <laughs> like no one ever was. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you are, if you are scouted by the school itself. Oh. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students. was me. Why does my hair look like a Karibo? <laughs> Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. My name is Makoto Naegi. And I am the shitty I'm main I'm character from, from Japan. I'm from Palatine. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student who sounds like I'm an 80-year-old fucking grandmother. Average on the outside, full of surprises on the inside. Ha <laughs> giggle. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. As you can tell by this cardboard cutout that is stint that is placed right next to me. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do with my hands, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever, or a demonic bear that's half black, half white. I mean, half white, half nigga. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh hell no! This is the first episode, over. You're fucking. <laughs> Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Yo, this guy's truly you, Silver. You're a hipster, too. <laughs> Holy crap. My favorite medical show is Scrubs because I like their outfits. 
It has <laughs> nothing to do with comedy. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. This is who I am. Not a shadow of who I want to fuck. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. Because when shit hits the fan, people are going to need to know who you are so they know who to throw to the wolves first. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, aside from my penis, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. With my ordinary Karibo hair, ordinary fucked up eyes, ordinary sense of shitty attire, but still, here I am, standing in front of the Anything But Ordinary, Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence. Like it's trying to swallow me whole. That's what she said? <laughs> That's what she did? Damn! But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well... Let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Oh my... Well, this is Destroy Dick December. <laughs> Hope's Peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. For Ooh. example, one incoming student is the ultimate tease, also known as the ultimate pop sensation. I say tease because she looks fine as hell, but she's probably she's probably only 13 years old. <laughs> Not so right. you got you guys have you guys have fun with your with your wet lolly dreams. <laughs> Silver, all I would say is if she's 13, I'm 13. All right, <laughs> moving on. You mean you're not 13? Push your 12! Shut up! <laughs> I'm 13 on the inside, damn it! <laughs> exactly! Girls like older men. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the world. She's famous because she has the worst colored eyes I've ever seen in my life. And look at those implants! They must be real! <laughs> There's also the ultimate baseball star, Junpei Iori. With what? better hair. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. He knows how to hit balls. He will do well in the gay strip scene. <laughs> then there's the ultimate fashionista. With the third worst pair of eyes I've seen in this series yet. And we're not even through with the first episode. <laughs> and only 400 yen to look at this shit. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Looking plastic as shit, with, eye with eyes that just make you scream, Oh my god, I'm going to have my soul absorbed by this doll. See, I wasn't the only one feeling that, actually. <laughs> Good to know. 